I got into teaching because I really didn't know what else anyone would ever do with their life other than be a teacher. My mom was a teacher. She taught high school. High schoolers scare me. Um, I was in second grade and had the most amazing teacher. Just having someone like that, I knew that that's what I wanted to do someday. I knew that I wanted to, I wanted to be Mrs. Mobley when I grew up. I don't know what else to say it, but I knew that that's exactly what I wanted to do. And I never wavered from the time I was seven years old until I went through high school, college, everything. I knew that that's exactly what I wanted to do. Monica's mother was my good friend. She told me the end of every school day she would she, she would go home and she would line up her dolls and her stuffed animals and she would go over everything that happened in the room that day. She would say, Johnny, you were fabulous in reading group today. Or Anne, I didn't know you could do multiplication, whatever, but at the end of the year, Monica's mother told me, I think that Monica's going to be a teacher. I'm pretty sure she's going to be a teacher. In fact, I think at some point in her life, she'll teach second grade. I taught a girl and she went on to become a kindergarten teacher. And it was so exciting because she would email me for advice or I had this come up, what would you do in this situation? It is so cool to see kids that I taught in second grade to see how they've grown and how they've like grown into themselves and become their own person. And to think that I might have been like a little piece of that is always exciting to me. This is Hill changed my life because she created such a positive environment um, and relationship with all of her students. And she really allowed me to be myself. I always loved the social aspect of school, but it wasn't until her class where I feel like she really ignited my love for learning. You know, when I really thought about what I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to be able to change people's lives and impact their lives the way that she did mine. And I felt like teaching was just the best way to pass that on as she had passed on to me. It's very humbling to think that you've <laughs> Can you give me a second? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think knowing that you've changed someone's life is just very humbling. I mean, I think we all go through life wanting to make a difference. So to think that I've made a difference in someone's life, it just, I guess, kind of validates that I'm doing what I knew I always wanted to do. So here we go. Mrs. Hill, thank you for always helping me through the rough times and for everything that I didn't understand very well. Mrs. Hill, I wish I was still in second grade because you're a really good teacher. Mrs. Hill, I wish you could be a teacher in eighth grade or in high school. So when I go to high school, you, um, I can have you as a teacher. Thank you, Mrs. Hill, for everything. I like the way you taught me. I like how we're still friends. And well, thank you. Hi, Mrs. Hill. I just wanted to say thank you for being such an inspiring person to me. Not only did you inspire me to become a teacher, but also to be a mom and a good friend. I'm so thankful that you believed in me and gave me all of the confidence that you did to go out and be a teacher myself. Mrs. Hill has changed my life because I remember when I got to second grade, I did not like learning. Like I really did not like reading or learning. And I remember like one of the main things that I like learned from my classroom and the time I had with Miss Hill was like, I learned to love learning. Like I would look forward to learning and I, st I still am like that now. And that's, I think she really changed how I viewed school and how I like my love for learning. When I grow up, I want to have a job like Miss Hill has where she just loves her job and she loves being around the students. And I would love, I want, I want that in my life to have 
a job and people that I'm just so dedicated to, like Miss Hill is. Like, I want to be that, that person. <laughs> kind of like Katie said in the video, like, you made me become a better teacher because I always wanted to be just like you because of how I felt <laughs> when I was in your classroom. You're gonna make me cry. No, I'm not trying to make you cry. <laughs> but no, I really did. Like I think being in second grade in Mrs. Mobley's class made me know the kind of teacher I wanted to be. You know, I wanted kids to come in and feel that love of learning or get excited about things or, you know, want to be the helper who cleans off my chair just because they think that they're helping out their teacher. And so, yeah, I think I would have still been a teacher, but I might have been a different kind of teacher. So I think having the relationship still with you and the relationship with Sarah just shows how powerful those connections and relationships can be. I mean, as humans, we all want those connections and relationships. And I think the lesson is just, you don't know what impact you're making on someone else's life. So you just better make a positive one. I just think every year when I taught, and it's been so long ago, and the kids, as I said before, are now, some of them are 50 years old. So, but I never dreamed that we would have a relationship like this all these years. And I'm really thankful for that. It, that was the, that's the best part of teaching, I think, is and think what you have ahead to look forward to all those wonderful yeah. little children because they're and they're always they're always my kids she's yes. she's always my kid <laughs> yeah